Welcome to Aorta Tech, Tech Your Heart. Today we will discuss about 6G network. In telecommunications, 6G is the sixth generation standard currently under development for wireless communications technologies supporting cellular data networks. It is the planned successor to 5G and will likely be significantly faster. Like its predecessors, 6G networks will probably be broadband cellular networks, in which the service area is divided into small geographical areas called cells. Several companies, Nokia, Ericsson, Huawei, Samsung, LG, Apple, as well as several countries, China, South Korea, and Japan, have shown interest in 6G networks. 6G networks will exhibit even more heterogeneity than its predecessors and will likely support applications far beyond anything seen so far in mobile scenario, such as virtual and augmented reality, VR, AR, ubiquitous instant communications, pervasive intelligence and the Internet of Things. It is expected that mobile network operators will adopt flexible decentralized business models for 6G, with local spectrum licensing, spectrum sharing, infrastructure sharing, an intelligent automated management underpinned by mobile edge computing, artificial intelligence, short packet communication and blockchain technologies. Amplifier progress. Recent studies have developed first ideas for 6G. A group based at the University of California, Santa Barbara has claimed significant progress by building a device that can speed up the process of development and save substantial amounts of time during the design phase. They reported key aspects of the device, including an N-polar, gallium nitride high electron mobility transistor, HEMT, in two papers which were published in IEEE Electron Device Letters. The presence of this charge in the transistor gives the device the ability to operate at high frequencies, because the electrons are free to move quickly through it without obstruction. Although the data has not been published yet, the researchers claim it shows promising results, and, according to their plan, they will eventually test the new devices at even higher frequencies than before, 140 GHz and 230 GHz, with both firmly in the terahertz range. In 2020, scientists from the Nanyang Technological University of Singapore and Osaka University of Japan announced they had created a chip for terahertz THZ, waves, which might be used in 6G. In October 2020, the Alliance for Telecommunications Industry Solutions ATIS, launched a Next G Alliance, an alliance consisting of AT&T, Ericsson, TELUS, Verizon, T-Mobile, Microsoft, Samsung, and others that will advance North American mobile technology leadership in 6G and beyond over the next decade. Test Satellite Launch On November 6, 2020, China successfully launched an experimental test satellite with candidates for 6G technology into orbit along with 12 other satellites, using a Long March 6 launch vehicle rocket. The satellite is intended to verify the terahertz THZ communication technology in space, according to the Global Times newspaper. Expectations. Recent academic articles have been conceptualizing 6G and new features that may be included. AI is included in many of these predictions, from 6G supporting AI infrastructure to AI designing and optimizing 6G architectures, protocols, and operations. Another study in Nature Electronics looks to provide a framework for 6G research stating, we suggest that human-centric mobile communications will still be the most important application of 6G and the 6G network should be human-centric. Thus, high security, secrecy and privacy should be key features of 6G and should be given particular attention by the wireless research community. The question of what frequencies 6G will operate on are still up to interpretation. The Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers states that, frequencies from 100 GHz to 3 terahertz are promising bands for the next generation of wireless communication systems because of the wide swaths of unused and unexplored spectrum. That's all about 6G network. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now for more videos.